the main the main um, imagery in there is, is you can see the trees and when you look at the trees the trees are representative of the fallen warriors who come back to defend land and defend country and that's the Anu and that's the spirit of the warriors who have fallen and they come back as trees and they so they're part of the ground they're part of the geography of the place and they're there as the early warning systems your trees are the spirits overlooking country and the men are there to protect culture and protect country and they've done that with the aid of their fallen warriors the views and established of recognition and remembrance were established on the APY artists first visit here when they come to see how we commemorate and that's where they were influenced by the story of William Punch. He's an Aboriginal First World War um, soldier who volunteered despite the fact that he was a survivor of a massacre and his um, clan were, were uh, killed in that massacre and he was he became the last. So to the APY man, uh, artist, he was what they called a nunkery, a powerful spirit, because he held the last of his story from his people. And for him to go and then volunteer to fight for Australia was an amazing story. And that was one of the major factors in the APY artists reflecting the stories that they did in their, in their artwork. On the role of honour, we went to William's name and we reflected how he was just one of the 62,000 other men that had fought and died. And the connection between Aboriginal and being a soldier and wanting to fight for your country is the same regardless of the skin colour. And that what struck the men. He was wanting to be part of something larger, but still also maintaining his Aboriginal identity. During the visit to the Australian War Memorial to launch the APY painting, Uncle Frank Young, the chairman of the APY lands, told me that it took a special man to want to die and lay down his life for the defence of his country and to give blood for his country. He states that there's been an ocean of blood shed in the defence of this land and that represents both Indigenous and non-Indigenous from time immemorial to more recent times. Uncle Frank states the importance of that recognition and defence of country is what will keep us and grow us together as Australians. For the APY peoples and the, and the artists, to come and allow the Inma, which is their dance. The, the Inma is, is the way that the story gets portrayed correctly every time. The dance has got to be right, the movements have got to be right, timed and, chore and choreographed, and those steps are the same. That's, that's the same way that's, that dance has been performed for thousands and thousands of years, and the old men were making sure that the young men had that right. To allow, as part of the commissioning, the dance to come here, which it hadn't been performed before to an audience, and especially a non-Indigenous audience and especially cameras, that is also an exp extremely special cultural move forward and cultural connection that the Australian War Memorial have, will have with now the APY artists and their story. That Inma was, has never been filmed before. We have the chance at the Australian War Memorial to tell stories that affect people. And if we as a, an individual, as a, a liaison officer or a curator or slash storyteller, we've had success in that is that William Punch's story will now be told in a variety of different ways in the APY, the Anyu, Pitinjata, Yankajata languages and their story, they've adopted his story into their story. And now his story that was had gone and diminished because he had no one to pass it to lives on in another language, in another area, but he has affected that. And that's a very powerful thing. Culturally, we've been handing down stories orally for thousands and thousands of years. And for me to influence another nation's storytelling with another man's story that was going to be lost, or potentially could have been lost, is a powerful thing. And the effect that it had visibly and emotionally on the artists that came here, senior men, well-respected elders and artists, it was, it was one of the best things that I will ever do at the Australian War Memorial.